Hey guys, it's me, John McEnroe. Back when I was a tennis player, I used to think all the journalists and people that worked in the media were total pricks. But now I am one of those pricks. Here are my tips on how to do a press conference. Just remember, be nice to journalists. You should be nice to everyone. What do you think is better, forehands or backhands? You know, that, that's actually a really thoughtful question. I mean, you're clearly a, a super clever person. You know, I'm actually really pleased you've asked me that. And, you know, you, you, you just generally seem like a great guy. I guess I'd have to say, what are you like? Maybe we should go for a beer after this. You seem like, a, you know, the kind of person I'd like to spend time with. Can we be friends? Hey, what's up? It's Andy Roddick, and um, these are my tips to nail a press conference. Step one, um, if you don't like a question or find it interesting, just 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 talk really fast through it. No, it doesn't really bother me, you know, like I'm going for more in the serve, and ultimately you got to do that against a guy who returns as well as he does, and you're going to make more errors, so that's the end of the day what's going to happen. Two, always say the opposite of what you mean. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> for sure, like I love playing on Clay so much. Yeah, Clay's my favorite. Yeah, I love losing in the first round of Roland Garros every year. <laughs> yeah. Three, always make sure to be gracious and accept that you can always improve. <laughs> Roger's unbelievable player, you know, he deserves everything he gets. Um, the guy's, you know, not only just a phenomenal player on the court, you know, he speaks like 20 different languages. And to be honest, like watching him play, like it kind of makes me feel um, like a sort of deep sense of, of, of enlightenment in my soul. Like, you know, watching him sort of go out wide for a backhand. Like, yeah, I mean, I think the guy's maybe the best human that's ever lived. And yeah, I just think he's awesome. Yeah, but Andy, you've just played David Ferrer. Do you not have any thoughts on him? Oh yeah, I mean, he's, he's, he's fine. Hello, it's me, uh, Daniel Medvedev, here with some very simple advices if you want to do a good press conference. I think you just come up with whatever is in your head and talk about it for six hours or however long you want, as long as you make a very detailed story. Okay, uh, right, let me try to keep this short. Uh, I want to tell you a story about a little boy who was waking up, I think, uh, maybe the second or possibly the third of April 1999. And he's wearing, uh, like, pajamas or something. Yeah, and yeah, sorry, but just, like, about the tennis match. I'm getting to that, but first we have to talk about uh, the weather where he was living in April in 1999. There was a uh, bird and he thought it was in uh, oak tree, no, but he maybe is, it was uh, different 13 tree. and... He is watching a lot of, uh, I don't know how you say, but the spiders, and he's thinking he will model his and backhand. And uh, he was him. climbing uh, Mount Everest with the Sherpa. You know, it's stages. very difficult for him because he's playing like four or five challenger tournaments, and you know, his knees are weak, his palms are sweaty. He has vomit on sweater already, you know, mom's spaghetti, and now, you know, uh, uh, 26 years old. He's playing in the, the Australian Open. And to answer your question, uh, yes, his Achilles was hurting a little bit, but not too bad during the match. And you know, it was uh, perfectly fine uh, for, for most of the first set. Everyone knows that journalists are absolute pieces of shit. I hate journalists so much. Those guys make me I just want to right in the head. Those guys piss me off so much. Like, I just want to like <laughs> Crocodile. If you want to do a press conference properly, you've got to like attack it. Like I did when I was playing against Rafa Wimbledon and hit a ball into his mouth. Hit journalists in the mouth with your words. Nick, Pippa Horn from the Tennis Channel here. Great performance today. Mate, get absolutely Now that you've hit them with your words, bamboozle them with questions that don't even make sense. But do you think you could return Richard Gasquet serve? Do you think you could beat Gael Monfils over a 5,000 meter race? Do you think you could play tennis whilst eating a set sermon with the skin still on? Do you think God exists? Do you think God being a man makes sense, given that if God was like above humanity, like surely he'd be above gender constraints? Would you ever kiss a rhino on the knob? Were the journalist successfully bamboozled? Deflect any further questions by just rudely eating lunch. Oh. It's a shame I can't hear any journalist questions because I'm just having such a nice lunch. Mmm, delicious, tasty Starburst. And if that fails, just pick up a water bottle and throw it at him. Nick, you seem to have added more depth to your game, technically speaking. Bro, 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 what was I supposed to do? I, I slipped. I slipped, slipped on my hand. Like, I just totally slipped. 